Hello and welcome back to the sideboard. I am Ruben Bressler here at Star City Games Providence and I am joined by Michael Stanley. You know, it's been an interesting month or two for Primeval Titan. Uh, it got, it cycled out of Standard, it got unbanned in Modern, it got banned in Commander, and today oh, we Primeval found Titan out... Primeval Titan wasn't banned. This one was. Oh, I'm, well, okay. Well, yeah. we'll get to... Right, we'll sorry, get to sorry. Primeval Titan became playable in Modern. <laughs> And uh, it also became playable in Legacy, apparently. Yes. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you got here? Well, this is basically uh, Valakit Ramp. The, it's basically as straightforward as you can get with Primeval Titan and Valakit. There's no scape shifts, uh, just natural orders. It's like the only combo we card. And my friends were trying to figure out what would be like the best Valakit slash natural order deck. And I think we found it. Nice. And so the card we were referring to, of course, is Valakut the Molten Pinnacle. It was recently unbanned in Modern. Next yes. week we'll see if it's any good. Yeah. But uh, you, you've basically got a very, very straightforward uh, uh, ramp deck. Yes. That just happens to have Valakut in it. Yes. Um, it, it plays a little bit like Nick Fit. You've got um, uh, Knight of the Reliquary in here, and you've got Natural Order, as, as you said, your only real combo piece. Mm -hmm. But mostly the idea is to get a Primeval Titan in play, mm -hmm. or uh, if you can't get a Primeval Titan in play, you said Mini Primeval Titan, as you yes. nicknamed it, is almost as good. Yep. What, na what card could possibly live <laughs> up to the name Mini Primeval Titan? That is definitely Wood Elves. Wood Elves is just like the best card, probably the best card in the deck, aside from Valakit itself and Natural Order. Just because you can cast it on turn two, uh, it gets you what whatever mana you need, usually gets a Stomping Grounds tap, but it can come in untapped uh, if you pay two life, get a Taiga, you can get a Dry Arbor if you need an extra creature, and it, it's just great. Usually, like, uh, it just helps you accelerate into your knights and your primeval titans faster. Yeah, real quickly I want to talk about your lands, because you're running mm -hmm. for Stomping Ground, which is not yeah. a card you often see in Legacy. Sometimes you'll see it as the one land in Be in Belcher, yep. um, because Belcher players decide that they can they can afford the two life, but can't afford the extra $40 for the dual land. Yeah. You have something, no problem with that, that, though, because yeah. you've got five black border dual lands in your deck. Six. Six, sorry, six <laughs> black border dual lands, yeah, uh, but the, four white border wood elves. Yes. What's your, what's that? Well, come on. Well, I mean, uh, we don't have the Black Border Tigers yet, which is pretty, or the Black Border Plateaus the last yet, which Black is Border pretty plateaus, annoying. Plateaus, sure. Uh, but the uh, store I, I uh, usually go to for cards, they didn't have any Black Border Wood Elves. All right. Well, if you're if you if you're building this one at home, you know you can keep an eye out for Black Border Wood Elves. Now, you've got the traditional one of mm -hmm. with Natural Order, which is Progenitus. Yes. But you've also got a couple of other. Targets that you can go get if you don't want to go get Primeval Titan or Knight of the Reliquary or Chrysalic Pride Mage. Mm -hmm. You've got Vexing Shusher, mm -hmm. Thrag Tusk, and Scavenging Ooze. Tell us about the that those cards. Well, Ooze is really good. Just it, it's one of the best creatures in Legacy. It uh, works against Maverick uh, exiling their lands. It works against Snapcaster Mage. It's great versus Dredge Game One. Uh, it's just a really, really solid card, and I knew that one in the main deck is just a necessity, and it's worked out just like it, it has in Maverick. It's basically just a really good creature. It's a threat on its own. Um, Thrag Tusk, on the other hand, was my choice over the third Vexing Shusher, which my friend is playing, and I thought that uh, we want some life gain uh, versus things like Rug Delver, which can just like burn you out sometimes, and a creature that is just really solid to get off of Zenith if your Primeval Titans aren't available or your Progenitus aren't available. And so it's a solid creature, it's a huge body, you can just play it on its own, and then Miracles has to deal with it, basically every deck has to deal with it, and then you just get value out of it when it dies. And Vexing Shusher is in there for the, presumably for the Miracles matchup as well, because yes. counterbalance might be a problem. Although for your deck, you're casting a lot of fours and sixes. Green mm -hmm. Sun Zenith can be whatever number you want it to be. Exactly. Uh, but things like Force of Will countering your Primeval Titan seems pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, the the deck plays really well around days, obviously, but uh, the Shushers are just very solid main deck cards because lots of Force of Will is being played again. Like The control decks are just upping the numbers again, and the deck is a little bit soft to counter spells if you're opponent goes counterspell, snapcaster, counterspell, etc, etc. But usually the control matchups aren't that bad as your lands themselves kill them. But Shusher just helps force through Zeniths and Natural Orders usually. 
Now, moving on to your sideboard, you've got uh, some interesting choices. You have a, a crop rotation package with the Tabernacle of Pendravale, Caracas, and Bajuka Bog, yep. which I think are somewhat self-explanatory. Um, yep. But the crop rotation is also very good against Wasteland. It is. Uh, and it's obviously very good in a deck with Valakut, allowing you to go get a yeah. Valakut pretty much whenever. Exactly. Uh, the Tabernacle in particular, uh, we were talking about how it's good against Elves and Goblins, matchups mm -hmm. you'd expect it to be good against, but it's actually also your plan against Goblin Charbelcher decks. Yes. Uh, versus those decks, uh, if you open on a Ley Line, then pretty much their only plan is Empty the Warrens, and Tabernacle just beats Empty the Warrens. It's also uh, versus uh, just like Storm decks in general, just because I'm pretty light versus those decks. Right, you have a lot of stuff to take out, so you can only put in so many things. Uh, you've also got, as you were alluding to, you have Ley Line of Sanctity, which mm -hmm. might seem like an odd choice in a deck that can't really cast it. Um, tell us about why you went with Leyline over some of the other options that you have for anti-storm hate. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it couples really well with the Tabernacle and Crop Rotation, as I said, versus uh, like Belcher and TES. So I thought like if I forced my opponent to go for Goblins, if they were playing Storm, then they would just die to the Tabernacle. And uh, Mind Break Trap doesn't really do that. Chalice of the Void is good, but it's pretty slow, and the deck just really needs to uh, have a couple turns to set up, and Leyline gives you those couple turns. Sure. Now, uh, does it ever come in against disc targeted discard? Like Foxy's, Liliana, that sort of thing? I'm pretty sure it would come in versus Pox decks, because I have a couple cards that might not be the best versus them, like Pride Mages. It's just a guy, and they can just make me sack it, so it's not that great. But uh, I know that Leyline, is, uh, from playing Enchantress, Leyline is great versus those decks. And you were saying that the, the one blue elemental blast, and, oh, I'm sorry, red elemental blast, mm -hmm and uh, for countering blue spells, yes. and the Oblivion Rings are for the Miracles matchup? Yeah, there are four pretty much Jace decks because uh, the the deck, while it can handle Jace, it can kill it with Valakits, and it can just uh, play big creatures that they can't deal with, uh, it still can't really come back from the card advantage that Jace provides. Sure. So getting an O-Ring on a Jace or just having the Red Blast for a key key counter spell or just killing a Jace is pretty pretty effective. Excellent. Well, I would, I would love to see Primeval Titan decks at the top of Legacy tournaments in the very near future. Thank you for joining me in the sideboard. Thank you.